excited about how you can mobilize Oracle Forms functionality, you might be interested in seeing a real application in action. So in this episode, I'm going to show you a customer demo where Oracle Forms functionality has been exposed through Oracle Mobile Cloud Services to a tablet. Thanks for joining me, Grant Ronald from the Oracle Mobile Platform team. So first of all, let's have a look at the use case. Now, the New York Metropolitan Transport Authority, or MTA, is North America's largest transportation network, which serves a population of 15 million people in the 5,000 square mile area fanning out from New York City through Long Island, southeastern New York State and Connecticut. Now, within the remit of MTA is looking after all the numerous bridges and tunnels that they have. So, unfortunately, if there's a crash in a bridge, the police and attendants will write down the details of the incident, and those notes will then get passed to someone in an office and they will manually enter that information into an Oracle form system. Now, that system works for them, but sure, it could be improved as well. A police officer taking notes on a cold, windswept bridge may not result in the best handwriting, and so, for example, when it comes to entering the data at a later date, you could get problems. By putting tablets into the hands of officers, they can more precisely enter data, they can take photos, and of course data is being captured in real time. But what about when you're working, for example, in a tunnel when there's no cellular signal? That's not a problem. Data can be saved locally to the device and then synced when they're back at the office or maybe in their car. So let's take a quick look at this MTA demo. So let's start the application. This application allows officers to log collisions that occur on New York bridges or tunnels. And we'll log in as Jennifer. Now here we're presented with a clear dashboard of all the facilities where the officer could log an incident. We're on the Henry Hudson Bridge, so let's select that. And we get a confirmation that we've switched facility. Once we've selected a facility, you can now report a collision. To do so, we click on the top left icon, Report Collision, and we're taken to the first of a four-part process. First, I select my location, which is obviously showing my choices based on the fact I'm on the Henry Hudson Bridge. So I'm by the toll plaza, roadway number one, on the third lane, and let's enter a marker type. And we have a free entry for the marker number, now just notice and remember that we've not filled in a field for plaza lane. We'll come back to that in a minute. Click save and continue to move to damages and conditions where we supply details about the actual incident. In this case, someone has hit the toll plaza. That's definitely not good. Possibly his vision was blocked by some temporary signage and maybe he admitted to not really fully paying attention and he was also trying to quickly change lanes. The weather was dry and so was the road and of course it's worth remembering that by selecting distinct values we're helping to ensure valid information is being entered. Let's go to the next page in the process. Here we enter the driver's information and type of car. You can also use the breadcrumbs at the top to navigate between pages in the process. Okay, so Stanley was driving a pickup. Finally, the officer can add any freeform notes or even take a photo of the incident, which is of course an advantage over the paper system. When done, click save and a confirmation is shown indicating that the record is saved. Now this confirmation is for saving a record on the local device rather than to the back-end system. Having saved the data locally, you're now taken to a page where you can synchronize the collision record through Oracle Mobile Cloud back to the Oracle Form system. So let's select Sync from the Action menu. Ah, but wait a minute, we're getting an error. And this error is actually coming from the Form system. It's actually a forms level constraint telling me that the plaza lane does not have a value and I must enter a value to complete this transaction. And that's the thing we missed out earlier. So you can use the edit option from the action menu to navigate back and in you complete the page. Once you've entered a plaza lane, 
you can save and continue, then move through the steps to save and complete the collision transaction. Now when you select sync from the action menu, the transaction again passes through Oracle Mobile Cloud Service to the Oracle Forms backend system. Now the forms validation is successful and the data can be committed to the backend system and you get a confirmation that this has happened. So there you have it, a custom built mobile application that's using Oracle Mobile Cloud Service and the Aura Player connector to connect back to an Oracle Forms system running all your Oracle Forms business logic. Now given we have all our communication going through Oracle MCS, it means that we can get some very useful insights into how the mobile application is being used. So here we are logged into Oracle Mobile Cloud Service and let's take a look at some of the analytic events that we've captured from the MTA mobile application. This will give us some insight into how the application is being used. Let's first of all look at what mobile API calls are being made. So it looks like we have a couple of peaks as to when our APIs are being called, but these are all within limits. And I wonder if the number of API calls is affecting the response times. It looks like we'll have a slight spike in the API response times, but again, it's all generally within limits. Let's now have a look at application specific events that we're logging. This application has two custom events that we are tracking, and those are whether the sync of data back to the Oracle Forms application failed or succeeded. So here we can see we have a sync event occurred and we can group those by facility. Looks like Frog's Neck Bridge has a few incidents lately. Let's now look at where a sync of data back to the forms system has failed and again we'll group this by facility. Now it looks like there are quite a few sync failures at the Bronx Whitestone facility and I wonder if that maybe is down to maybe a poor signal in the area. Well we can actually look at the reason for that failure. And in fact, the main reason the synchronization is failing is the officer has not entered information about the plaza lane. And if you remember on the mobile app demo, we missed out that field. So we might draw a conclusion that we could make some improvements to the mobile app to ensure that officers do enter that data into that field. So there you saw an example of a typical paper-based data entry driven process that's been modernized by bringing a use case out from the back office and into users' hands using the Aura Player Connector and Oracle Mobile Cloud Service. Thank you very much for watching.